The Sports Desk is brought to you by Jim Butler Chevrolet, the Midwest's number one Chevy dealer, 10 years running. This Five on Your Side St. Louis City SC coverage is sponsored by Together Credit Union. Well, we use the word history maybe a little too much in sports, but tonight that's the only word that's appropriate. The first ever MLS game in our town, and it lived up to the hype. City SC opening up City Park for their debut match against Charlotte, and the place was absolutely electric from the kickoff. Charlotte had the first goal at City Park. This header from Enzo Capetti was a beauty, but guess what? The first goal for City in St. Louis is an own goal from Charlotte. Oh my goodness, everybody goes nuts. Look at this baby coming up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's the baby getting the Simba treatment. City would score themselves right before the half. Edward Lewin got a penalty shot. He converts. That made it two to one. Second half, a familiar name making another big pay. It's Klaus. Steal in the box. He fires a pass to keeper. Three to one City. And that's how it ends. City SC is the first expansion team since 2014 to start 2 0 in the MLS. We now go live to our Frank Cusimano at City Park. And Frank, just what was this historic night like for you? Corey, thanks very much. You know, sometimes special things in life are worth the wait. And make no mistake, this was a special thing, a three to one victory in the first ever home game for St. Louis City SC. Couple of observations. Number one, I've never been to a sporting event where I saw 22,000 people stand and cheer the entire game. They did not need seats in this stadium. And secondly, expansion teams are not supposed to go 2-0, and the players know that. Uh, yeah, we, we took this as uh, motivation, you know. Uh, we don't really care about what, what people think uh, or what they expect from us in the end of the day. It's what we, what we expect from ourselves and uh, what we want to achieve. So in the end of the day, we try to... Um, take these ne negative thoughts of people, you know, positive and just as a motivation for us. On the field, but in the stands, the town is in love with their soccer team and they've only played one home game. With photographer Eric Voss, I'm Frank Cusimano. Let's send it back. Thanks, Frank. Well, down in Jupiter, there is a larger than life presence starting to take hold over the Cardinals nation. It's hard to have a better start to spring training than the one Jordan Walker is off to. Let's go down to spring training. Walker legged out an infield single, his first time up today against the Nationals. Then on a 98 mile an hour fastball, he did that. Oh my goodness, over the berm, nearly into the concession stands, 407 feet away, 70 feet away, no biggie. After doubling his next time up, the expected velocity on this line drive was 100 miles an hour as it quickly left the yard. He finished a triple short of the cycle as the Cards win 9-6. Walker's batting 500 so far this spring with an OPS of 1.667. That's pretty good. Let's check in on the Blues. Late start tonight in L.A. St. Louis tied it up on this goal coming up from Robert Thomas. Nice goal right there. Right now it is tied at one after the first period. It was just one of the pressing questions today at Mizzou Arena, and even Ole Miss fans got a chuckle out, out of it. What even is a hottie toddy? All right, Tigers got a tussle from the Rebels, but did what they had to do. Noah Carter gets the late and one. That put Mizzou up by five, and Coach Dennis Gates' defense got the stops they needed for an 82-77 win. So with Tennessee losing, guess who moved into fourth seed and a double bye for next weekend's SEC tournament? Well, it is the Tigers for the first time since joining the SEC. A huge day on the Illinois girls high school basketball front. First off, O'Fallon playing Bennett Academy for the 4A title tonight. It was a classic. You saw Shannon Dow sinks a late free throw. That made it go to overtime. They go to double OT where the Panthers pull it out. O'Fallon wins their first ever 4A girls basketball title, 62 to 57. Let's go down to 2A. Modern Day took on Byron for their title. It was a big day for the Knights' Alyssa Korkenmeyer. This is one of her 10 blocks in the game. She also had 14 rebounds to go along with 23 points. If you're counting at home, that is a triple-double. Modern Day wins their championship 62-46. to 
Haley Bowers going for a state title in her first year as head coach of the Oakville Rockets. The 1A finals against Christopher and Elena Krause was too much today. Look at those moves. She scored 23 points. Oakville wins 49 to 31. How about the Metro East? Three state champions today in girls basketball. Wow. I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure that's never happened. Yeah, yeah, we're making history all over the place. History all over. We love it. Thank you, Corey.